Hey guys, it's Loretta. Welcome back to my channel. It's a gray and overcast day here today, so I hope th this video turns out. So this is block number six in my um, 24 block crazy quilt journey that I'm doing. Um, I got this one done pretty quick. Uh, so, woohoo! <laughs> you guys waited a month and a half for the last one, and now this one's done in like a week. Um, so I stayed kind of simple on this one. You know, you don't want every single block in the quilt to be, you know, really overdone. So I love the really encrusted overdone blocks, but then I also want a couple more simple ones to balance it out. So uh, this one is a Harrison Fisher image. And um, so let's see, we'll start. We'll start up in this corner here. So I did a feather stitch here with some uh, size 11 seed beads. I, I had this great piece of fabric here which has the Eiffel Tower on it. Um, and it just seemed a little plain so I went on ahead and did like a stem stitch outlining the Eiffel Tower. Uh, because yeah, when you looked at it as a whole, that this whole half of the block just sort of faded away. But I didn't want to cover it because, you know, I, it's the Eiffel Tower and this is a travel theme quilt. So, down here at the bottom, uh, I did a buttonhole stitch with some sequins and some seed beads. And then I did uh, a very small button cluster here. And then I had this beautiful piece of pink and white tatting. Um, so I did a piece of lace first, then I did the tatting, and then I did um, uh, sequins with a seed bead. And then over here, or up here, I did... Uh, that's a buttonhole stitch, but it's an altered buttonhole stitch. Um, it's got the lazy daisies on it, so it kind of makes it look like an upside down. If you turn it this way, it looks like a present. Doesn't that look like presents with bows? <laughs> That's what I think, anyway. So, I did that with uh, some seed beads. And then, let me pull this out a little bit to... Oh, hey, I got it right. I went in the right direction the first time. I cannot believe it. Um, so the Harrison Fisher print, I took this old uh, doily. I don't. I really don't know like what it was originally, but uh, it had like a, you can see this right here. So it looks like there was a centerpiece to it, but all I had left was this sort of fishnet kind of thing, and that's like really really cool. I don't know. You can see like the multiple strings there. So I don't know if that's a macrame or what it is, but anyway, I found it at the antique mall. So, <laughs> um, so I laid that down on this whole thing. Um, you, you know, like I've said before, the crazy quilt blocks are mostly, uh, angles and straight lines. So I try to soften it up a little bit by putting, um, something circular on it or something with a swoosh, you know, giving it some kind of movement, but it also softens it up. Um, so, and then I had the, I don't know where I got this. This is, but those are the, that's the perfect Victorian kind of pin. I probably got it at the antique mall. And uh, this metal piece, like the hand is holding the leaf. Um, that I got off of Etsy. Um, so then over here, uh, so on top of this fishnet piece, I did a fan. Does, um, I'm sure you've seen the Victorian fan quilts. It's almost like it's a half of a Dresden plate block, you know? So the little fan quilt, uh, fan block piece there. And that's, uh, and this block is all cotton. This one ended up being all cotton. So, anyway. And then I had this beautiful vintage hanky 
from like, I don't know, the 1920s. I mean, look at that. It looks like Art Deco for sure. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm not an expert, but <laughs> anyway. Um, so I had that and I just, I cut it in half right down the middle because the two corners looked exactly like this and the other two corners were plain. So I just cut it down the middle and um, over put it over the fan, which is over top of that little macrame piece. And I just did some sequins. And then I had, uh, had found this beautiful little heart at, um, at I think it was in Paducah last year. That's where I found that. And then um, I did another buttonhole stitch. For some unknown reason, I did buttonhole stitch like three times on this <laughs> block. But this one doesn't really look like a buttonhole stitch because of um, the lazy daisies that I put on it. So, anyway, uh, so that is block number six. I'm loving it, loving it. So, I wanted to take a minute. Um, well, let me show you next month's block. <clears throat> this will be the one I do next. This one's very pink, <laughs> very, very pink. So, um, there's a, a lot of space here, and I have a hanky, if I can find it, that I'm, I'm going to put there. So, anyway, so this will be the next one. So, tune in next time to see this one all blinged up. So, um, but I also wanted to take a minute to... Uh, let people know I have been really, really busy and I've been really behind on a lot of things. And I have two people who uh, jo wanted to join my challenge but did not, uh, they don't do videos. And so, oops, sorry. So I told them that that was fine. They could just send me some old photographs in an email or on Facebook or whatever, which they did. And I keep meaning to do like a little video showing you their entry and I just have not gotten around to it but they are still entered just so they know you can also enter even if you don't do videos so uh, yeah um, I have my video is up on the challenge and what it is you can go back and look at it um, also the other thing was is I went in and I did put my videos in playlists so I have my crazy quote playlists I have um, junk journal playlist beating playlists etc so, uh, this was the latest entry in the crazy quilt for, this was the one I did before. I'm just going to real quick run through. A couple people said that they really liked the fact that I kind of showed the other blocks in the last video. So, yeah. Anyway, this is the this is the most recent one, and um, I hope you enjoyed. Oop! I hope you enjoyed this video. I've done that twice now. <laughs> Maybe I should go back to bed, and uh, that'll be the next one. So y'all have a great day, and uh, I will talk to you later. Bye bye.